Joo, se oli ihan siinä, mistä aloitettiin, niin siinä vieressä oli yksi skuas tai no, pumpkin, niin... Mm-hmm. Mä nyt sää trolleja. Susia. Ei ollut välttämättä ehkä fiksui, mutta... Niin, että Skyrimissä oli nää lopetusanimaatiot. No toivottavasti magika tulee takaisin niinku... No okei, sit, no meillä on tietysti sauva. Ei sitä kyllä jääny mitään jäljellä noista suusista. Eikö on nyt sinähän on? Tuli vielä yks... Joo... No, Susi hukkia. <laughs> Joo. Skrimin moottori huutaa leipää... Leipää tommonen... Näköisesti nimenomaan tän niinku vehreyden takia, että... Mun kannattais ehkä pikkasen pistää. Mulla on hyvä näytönohjain kyllä siis 3080, mutta kun... Ei näitä vanhoja pelejä ole optimoitu näytönohjaimin. Jaa, tässä on joku epäonninen kulkija. Ääni on siis. Joku leipä. Lounaaksi. Eihän tää nyt on yhtään reilua. Heavy Nether Kures. Ihan hyvä saada vähän panssaria sen sillä Yksi kuu. 
Ja se on punainen. Punainen... Joo, on, on kyllä aika epäilyttävä. Siellä on jonkun ty... Joku on tänne... ...haudattu. Se on varmaan joku ambienti. Toi kuiskaukset. Vynroot. Ei ole Nirnroot. On Vynroot. Koska eri fantasia maailma, mutta tämä sama efekti. Joo. Oh. Aha. Lisää raunioita. Hmm. Onpas tässä pelissä sieniä. Paljon sieniä. Ja niin se vaat, niin joo, että tää vaatii sängyn jostain. Eli, eli mä en voi levätä. Sitä se tarkoittaa. Täällä on... Terve. Täällä on ihmisten... Tai joku muitten asutusta. Jaha. Now would you look at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. What brings you here, my dame? Who am I? Finn de Lires, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. No niin. Nerim, is eri manterilta totta kai eri accentti. There we go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on her way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this girl isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're standing here. Having a chat with her as if we were in the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? Carbos, Yafin. I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Unbelievable. <sighs> May I present Carbos as he lives and breathes. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called uh, Riverville. Ah, Logan yeah, and Nimitus. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Hmm, there's something mm, peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I would uh -huh. examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. So if I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Uh -huh. Who knows? 
Maybe you caught something in that temple. Mm, <laughs> Us? Oh, nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. We gather herbs, but tomorrow we're going back north to League. <sighs> League. You should stop by one day if you're in the area. Someone who scours Pyrian ruins and survives could surely be useful to the apothecary and help us find some things. Mm, get them. Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Mutta aika painava hevosen kenkä. Kaksi kiloa. Tuolla on hyviä arvoa tuolla kolikolla. Okei, okay, tuossa näkyy oikealla paljon sillä rahaa. Tää kaikki mitä mä tarjoan sille. Selvä. En, en valita. Mä en ihan oikeesti tiedä. Ja kannattaa säilyttää tässä vaiheessa peliä. Joten kaikki menee. Jolloin mä en keksi jotain käyttöä. Koska miksi ei. Nyt olisiko tällä jotain hyvää? Okei, mä annoin sitten aseet. Kuvas tää arvokas tää Ambrosi. Helttipotionit. Periaatteessa niitä aina tarvii. Ne vaan lisää tota... ...fiiveriä. Yeah. 
magia tulee ju- juomalla viini. Selvä. Okei, tämän, mulla on sama kirja. Ja... rahat. Täältä potioneja tuli vähän Skyrimissa. Niitä potioneita rupes löytämään, löytymään aivan liikaa. Se on, ne venetti vähän sillä arvonsa, että sulla on hirveä... Sulla on niinku semmonen... Autolastillinen niinku sun repussa niinku taikajuomia. Tässä voi tälleen pysäyttää tän ajan periaatteessa ja juoda täältä näin niinku kesken, kesken peli. No, se on selvä. Well, what can I tell you? This is the Sun Coast. Se on ihan hauskettan ääninäytelty kanssa. A pretty peaceful area. Except for all the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. No, niinpä tietysti. And, well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want to know more. They certainly have some stories to tell. Uh-huh. To an adventurer? <laughs> if you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shut eye. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the stone arch. It was once an old trading post, but now it's full of shady characters. <laughs> okay. Ah, and there's also a big Pyrian ruin south of it. <laughs> By the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? My path is... Well, it, it's just me path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. Uh, not exactly. Malthus designates our place in society. Okay. Generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. Okay. I walk the path of the Eridites. And there's also the manufacturers, the sublimes, and, of course, the pathless. Within these rules, we are free to choose a profession. But certain vocations that are available to an erudite are not permitted to a manufacturer which is one path below however below does not mean that it is in any way inferior everyone on enderal does what they do best and who would know better than the gods what exactly that is mm. In the folly of my youth, I might have thought about it, yes. But then, I realized that half of what goes wrong in this world has to do with the desire to... advance. I am interested in living the righteous path, and to contribute to the preservation of my people. That's enough for me, and only the faithful will be granted the eternal paths upon death. Men or women who have never received the path consecration, or those who have broken their path. Brigands, glimmer dust smugglers, murderers. And over here, there's a rumor that the Golden Queen has a weakness for men in gowns. Seriously, be careful with that kind of gossip. I know you don't mean any harm, but there are a few who might consider it heresy. Mm. Maybe, but if I look at other countries, even within the civilized world, it's hard to find a people as peaceful as ours. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. Carbos, do we need this still tomorrow? Or can I clean all the tools? Place is Finn, I'm playing. Don't bother me. <sighs> I guess that means no. Oh. Hmm? By the righteous path? What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. 
Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Oh, so now we're brewing potions for complete strength. <coughs> well, if the strangers are about to die of fever, then yes. There was that oath we swore once, remember? To help the afflicted, to... Whatever. Thank you. Gruntroots, Gruntroots. Ah, here we go. So, let's see. Sheer cup, some water. Ha, done. I can't make any promises, Shit. but. Finn, the still. It's <laughs> Okay. Oh, sod it. Why really have to watch every step you take? That was a fucking close call. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah. And you're paying for it. Here I thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse. <sighs> This day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. Put the in gate. See, you already look a lot better. Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. What? You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But yeah, whatever will be, will be. Uh, explosion. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleris. Died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. <laughs> ha ha. Look, I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe... Wait a second. What was that? I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Hmm. Oh shit! Uh, what the? Carlos! It hit me, Finn. Those bastards. They've hit me. Carlos, I... Do something, damn it! Yeah, that went well. Look at that. Our mysterious survivor has awoken. Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are at my very own campsite. Before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecaries. Hmm. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into the thicket. Most of your injuries are only superficial, but your fever, well, that's a different story. I was on the perimeter, and no, I didn't help, for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered. Two, I'm quite fond of my entrails. I wish I had a more heroic answer, but I don't. Sorry. Hmm. Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from Arcanist's fever. Honestly, I'm surprised the old Apothecarius didn't see that. Let me guess, you're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the Bard songs, right? You're unusually strong, you have reflexes like a cat, and drinking potions or any kind of magically infused substance leaves a bitter afterglow in your head. Pretty much. Well then, congratulations. Your magical talent just blossomed. A bit late, given your age, but it happens. Put simply, the fever is a result of your body not being able to cope with it. Uh-huh. That's not much of a problem for now, but if you don't let Narkness treat you sometime soon, things are going to get grim. Uh-huh. Contain it, not cure it. From here on out, you're always going to be a little more sensitive than someone without magical gifts. But that's tolerable compared to what your magic will allow you to do. Prone to certain conditions. As I said, your fever will get worse if you drink healing potions. 
but you'll also be a lot more susceptible to nightmares and those kinds of things. Uh -huh. Also, you should be very cautious of areas with magical contamination, such as Thalgard in the east. At first, diffuse headaches, general unease. Later on, your eyesight will blur, your limbs will grow weak, and you'll get a maddening itch all over your body. If you leave it be at that body. Long, you'll either die or turn into an orbaya. Yes, it can kill you. Everything has its price, as the wise hermit likes to say. And an orbaya is basically a giant undead version of yourself with tumors and pus all over your body. Just never let the fever get too bad. Well, there's ambrosia, but for an uncontained fever, it'll only postpone the symptoms. Later, you can drink it whenever the fever gets worse. The stuff looks and tastes like undead sweat and is bloody expensive, but it's the only thing that really helps. You have visions? Um, not that I know of. The only visions I've ever had are those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. Uh -huh. hmm. You know what? As I said, someone needs to contain your fever as soon as possible. And as it happens, I know people. But in return, I want you to tell me everything. What did you do in that temple? And what's the story with those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you. And that intrigues me. What do you say? Well then, the stage is yours. Ja, tätä kapteeni olla so, kyllä tapolista ensimmäisenä. You somehow survived getting thrown into the open sea, and while you were half dead, had this dream in which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light. Joo, ei ole tätä parhaa hukkuessa. Huh. And you also said that your magic didn't develop gradually as it usually does, but all at once, right? Well, that's quite the story. I guess you know how absurd it sounds, but for some reason I believe you. I've met a lot of liars in my life and you aren't one of them. All right. Before we leave, however, there's something else we to do. And I can use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can make for Ark. 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 The capital of this country. Walls high as towers of iron hard stone rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned. Never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by Malthus and blah 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 and so on and so forth. You're going to see it soon. Mm -hmm. Well, aren't you curious? I work for the Holy Order. Uh -huh. Yeah, but they're more than just a military unit here. Enderal belongs to Malthus, the guardian god, and uh -huh. the order answers directly to him. In other words, they're calling the shots here. No king, no queen, no council. Just an order of noble warriors always looking so stern and joyless that you might think they're struggling with constipation. Um, up to you. But without me accompanying you, the guards won't let you into the Sun Temple in Ark. And that's the only place you can get your fever treated. Oh, cool. Splendid. You'll need some information before you can help me, though. I take it the fact that Vin has seen better times hasn't eluded your attention, has it? For the last two years, there have been wars and unrest everywhere. And even though in Enderal there is officially peace, there are peculiar things happening here, too. Cool, then. Normally docile animals of the tears attacking wanderers in the open. The dead awakening in hordes. It's unsettling, to say the least. No, but I must. Hmm. The strangest thing, however, is the red madness. Yeah, the rumors. I I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true. And that there's a connection, yes. As I said, maybe. If you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than imposters anyway. False gods. Hmm. Well, they usually leave the thinking to their holy order. And they, of course, deny everything. Cool. But as much as I hate to say it, maybe it's better this way, at least for now. A spiritual crisis is the last thing this country needs at the moment. 
Oh, I'm hardly representative. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And mm -hmm. the false deity theory isn't that new after all, is it? Seriously, say the Lightborn really are as mighty as the revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to call down lightning on me right here and right now to punish me for my insolence? <laughs> no. The Lightborn were immortal kings, and that's all. At least, that's how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Splendid. You never know. But we digress. Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their mind. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was a smith in Ark who butchered his entire family. Mm. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like fear the light while he was doing it. Or a young woman of noble path who set her own house on fire. While her family was asleep, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen incidents in a very short period of time. The fact that the afflicted's eyes glow red while they go rampant has made people call the disease the red madness. Thing is, some weeks ago it happened again, only this time it was a magister from the Holy Order itself. Huh. A teacher who instructs the novices aspiring to become keepers, his name was Yero. A man with more than 60 winners on his back. Well, according to the sole survivor, he entered the teaching room that day as usual. But instead of giving his lecture on alchemy, he gave a strange kind of speech where he kept going on about how mankind is corrupted and that it has succumbed to the void. And his eyes started glowing, he locked the door and blew himself up in a magical explosion. Hmm. Tapa jättää. Yes. Pysy, pysyvä is. vaikutus. <laughs> I'm not one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. My specialty is recovering lost things. Treasures, tomes, memories and the like. And the order hired me to do just that. They want to know how a man like Yarrow could fall uh -huh. victim to the red madness. And thus if there's something like a pattern to this malady. Doesn't matter. Yero grew up in a small village not far from here, and according to the order, he visited it quite often after his partner died. Hmm. What I want your help with is finding clues as to why he did what he did. Mm, Great. First of all, I want you to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred, a childhood friend of Yero's. Ask him what he makes of the incident, and whether he has any explanation for it. Secondly, a farm boy told me that he saw Yero throw something into the sea during his last visit there. The winds have been blowing inland the last couple of days, so go search the shoreline and see if it washed up. Uh -huh. I myself will take a look at the house Yero grew up in. Ah, and here. This is a map of the region. Yero's house is at the blue dot. So, unless there's anything else, I'd say let's step to it. Just meet me at the farm when you're done. Yeah. Butcher. No, oh, pitkät kirja. Okei. Okay. 
Maybe with figure. Tää on nähnyt kans jonkun oudon hunnutetun naisen. Tuolla toppana kadota. Seuraa elämää. Okei. Okay. Huh? Linna oli tuolla. Rantaa. Saatin kartta. Täällä. Okei, tää onkin muuten aika iso. Mm, no, okei. Aika iso paikka. Paikallinen kartta ei ole ihmeellinen kyllä. Never walked back on the road from the aged man's abode. Oh, blazes. Sorry. I know. I can't sing. <laughs> okay. Mielenkiintoinen peli kyllä. No niin. Jaha, ja sua vä väsyttää. Huh? Eli. Ei mitä. Eli tota noin The Void. Hieron talolle pitäis mennä. Ja nää voi parantaa mut sitten tästä Arkane Feverista. Ehkä. Mulla on tässä. Alfred on tuolla. Ei kun me ollaan täällä. Eli meidän täytyy mennä tota täältä alas ja tietä pitkin. Ja heti alko. Sorry. 
Komeen linna kehtoa joku... Tuo laiva. Näin kaukaa se on vaan tosi epätarkka toi... Jaha. Ei tää ollutkaan ihan turvallinen. Mm. Okei, okay, hyvä. Hyvä ratkaisu. Onkohan monen pelaajan peli on päättynyt tohon noin, että on tullut komeeton maisemat. Niin, niin, kivi päähän. Ja Päätän mennä sitten kylpyyn. Se mitä tässä Skyrimissa kaipaisi on se, että siis on, on tää niinku törkeen hidas kävely, nopeus ja sitten on niinku juoksut tahti. Jotain tältä väliltä. Nykyään alkaa peleissä olla Raunion osa. Niin, niin, se, et voi, voi portaattomasti säätää tota noin, niinku liikku, liikkuman nopeutta, mikä on tosi kätevä. Hiiren keskinapilla esimerkiksi. Joo, tästähän on olemassa se 64 pittiselle Skyrim SElle tehty versio myös, mutta se on epävirallinen. Se on funny projekti funny projektista siis. Aha. Eli Jorepakosta pitäisi mennä yli. Aurinkorannikko. Se on jonkinlainen laiva kyllä. Vanhan näköinen tuo linnake. Varaosio. En tiedä mi mihin nämä varaosat on, mutta... Taskut saattaa olla aika pohjattomia. Paitsi ei, ei tässä pelissä kyllä, mutta... Kannattaa silti yhtään. Yksi arkku ainakin kannattaa ka... Ja... Luulenko? Ja pukki. Oliks mulla mitään pidemmälle kuin kahden metrin päähän kaltavia. Ouch. Toi ei toi ollut kivaa. Mä haluan nyt suojaa vaan. Ja tietysti täällä oli... No, huonoista elämäpäätöksistä saa. Ah, 
magia on lopussa. Äni on tässä pelissä ei tullut terveys takaisin itsekseen. Näm näm näm. Out of combat. Uh, ei, miksi niitä on noin paljon? <tuh> Toi ei ollut. Toi ei ollut hirveän hyvä osuma. Tuli aika hyvä osuma itse siis. Ehkä pärjätä, jos, jos mä en olisi näin huono. Kannatti, kannatti tota noin tallentaa aina vielä. Joo. Ehkä mä... Aha! Aika läheltä mä kuitenkin uudelleen synnyin, että... No, nyt meni ihan kohtuullisesti. Mistä se ampuu? Ai niin... Toi oli kyllä vähän sillä että sentti vaan näkyy, mutta silti, silti jotenkin osuu. Mikähän toi on? Jaha, onkohan täällä joku nekromantikko ollut sitten? Jotain nekromaniaa harrastamassa tai sellaista? Voisi tietysti täydet panssarikki olla päällä. Se saattaisi joskus auttaa asiaa. Kyllä, kiitos. Eli vähemmän magiaa kuluu tuon loitsuihin. Se ei voi pitää tuota huppua päässä. Jostain syystä. Toi, 
Raskaat, raskaat nahka. Saapa nun, okei. Okay. Mä en välttämättä tarvitse toista paria. No ainakin mulla on nyt jousi, että... Ja noi on ehkä poimittavissa no osa noista nuolista. Tää ampuu. Ensimmäinen yritys oli vähän sellainen, että... Joo. Jaha. Miten tää nyt menikään taas? Mä tallennan, koska tykkään huijata. Jonkin kinna. No. Skeleton. Sanotaan sinne, että oli ihan hyvä luutti kuitenkin, vaikka toi... Tästä ei mennytkään ihan niinku... Aha, juusto on todella terveellistä. Leipä on vielä parempi. Mut toi kannattis syödä. Olisi kannattanut syödä ennen taistelua. Taidan, taidan olla ihan kohtuullisen tyytyväinen tähän näin. Niin tää kuulemma kannatti tallentaa, tehdä ihan erillisiä tallennuksia, jos joku kuesti vaikka rupee pukittamaan, niin sitten ei, ei jämähdä peli, peli niin kuin sen takia. Jostain tuli taistelumusiikki. Hirveesti kärsivän näistä. Olisikohan sillä kaveri vielä tossa no? Ah. Ystävällisiä nää kasvit, että hiilaa sut täysin. Ja jonkun kilpi. No, sitä olisi ehkä tarvittu tossa noin hetki, hetki sitten, mutta niin... Parempi myöhään kuin ei milloinkaan. Eikös. Tästä mä tykkään. Kannattaa tutkia ympäriinsä. 